This is Witty from Witty's Real Time Fishing, and today we will be reviewing the Titan 2 6000. This nice reel that they sent me. So this what we'll we will be reviewing today. A CR uh, put 40 pound uh, Power Pro line on there. This is going to be my primary sheep's head uh, reel for this summer. So that's it right there. See all the information on there. It came with uh, the disassembly instructions right here. You see. Also a nice sticker with their logo. And their business card right here. And a nice carrying bag for it. And also... We have the box, of course. Um, I will be pairing this reel right here with the uh, Ugly Stick GX2. It's about a, it's a fifty dollar rod, so I'll be pairing with that. And if y'all are interested in getting this reel, um, I'll have my discount code posted in the description below. So we're going to go ahead and uh, set this uh, new reel and along with this ugly stick up for sheep's head fishing. So for that, let you know what I use. I got my trusty scissors. I use a uh, Vanish Easy Casting. That's what I use for my leader line. Also, I got my swivels. Any swivel would, would do. See that right here? Got about a, um, say a three-fourth ounce egg sinker, like so. And also, I'm going to be using mosquito owner size one mosquito hooks. I'm going to go ahead and take one out so you can see. I kind of like the hooks with the curve. I don't have the straight hooks but they got the curve to it like you see right there so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this together and I'm gonna show you what it looks like afterwards and then I'll explain to you uh, how I set it up and everything so give you a second and I'll be right back alright y'all I'm back so we got our reel got on our ugly stick first thing we're gonna do is we want to put the sinker through the main put the main line through the egg weight so there we go next we're going to take our swivel right here and we're going to tie it on our line let's go ahead and get this on real quick All right, got an egg weight, got the swivel. Next, get your leader line out. I'm gonna think I'm gonna make my leader about probably like around six inches or so. And you're gonna tie your leader line onto your swivel. All 
All right, you know this is a little bit more than six inches, but when I tie my knot, I'm gonna make it around six inches. So next, we're gonna take the lead line, put it through your hook. We're gonna have a lot of excess to cut off after we're done. And I bring it down to right where I want it, about right there. I'm gonna tie my knot. And there we go. So now we have that. I may shorten it up some, but that's about six inches right there. Sometimes to do it shorter than that, like probably four to five inches. But after we get that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut off our excess. So don't get in the way. And there you have it. Sheephead hook is all ready, rig is all ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out and see if we catch anything. And if we don't catch nothing in the location I'm going, we're gonna probably dig ahead to um, Paris Island, South Carolina and give it a try later today. So let's go to our first location and see if we catch anything. All right, everybody, we are at our first location. And I, I was here for a while, but the fish do not do not seem to be biting. Yep, I don't think he's very happy right now. So I woke him up. Let's see, yep, yep, they don't seem to be biting either. Oh, what was that? Okay, so we look like we'll be going to Paris Island for sheep's head because uh, the fish in here are not biting today. So, see y'all there later. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Woody again, and I finally made the Paris Island. I'm fishing the golf course today, and I checked the tops for fishing, and it says it's going to be bad fishing today. But normally I do the opposite of what they say. Usually on days when they say the fish are biting, I usually don't catch anything. So hopefully, it said fish are gonna be bad today, so hopefully I'll catch a lot of fish today. So we're going for a black drum. I'm gonna try my uh, Run CL Titan 2 6000. They say we can get on some sheep's head and my other poles. I got my Pin Battle 3. This is my reserve rod, so I probably won't use that. Probably just go down to two rods. This is gonna be bottom fishing. This uh, pin battle and this is gonna be my sheep's head rod. This got a cork on this. I probably throw dead shrimp on it, throw it out anyway. But yep. And uh I think Todd is coming back in right now, so that's a good thing. So let me hurry up get on these fish and see if we can get some good footage today. Wish me luck. Later. Oh yeah, by the way, um I'll be using fiddlers I caught this morning when I got here. And I got some dead shrimp, so that's what the baits I'll be using today. All right, we got something, y'all. Of course, toad fish. All right, got something on the line. Let's see what it is. Uh, toad fish number two. All right, y'all, we get a good hit. Something's on here. You go pin fish. Let's see what we got here. All right. A little, a little black drum. Keep 
still. Ouch. I'm trying to get him to keep still so I take a picture of you so I can see it. A little black drum. That's another pinfish. Alright, got, got a fish. Let's see what it is. It is a uh, pinfish. Stupid pinfish. Uh -oh. What is it? What is it? Stingray. God dang it. What is this? Oh, got one. A little small one, but I got one. Pinfish. Yep, pinfish. Alright, threw our way out through this time. Hope it's a white. Yes. Yep, it's a white. Maybe a good side of white in here. Let's see what it is. Stingray. Damn. Stingray. Alright, y'all. What is going on? I tried. I tried to catch some fish. But they weren't hearing it. The fishing port was correct. The fishing was going to be horrible today. For me, anyway. So I hope y'all had better luck than I did. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed what I could provide. Uh, check out that runcl.com's website. And uh, check out their, their products. But uh, I tried my best. The fish just wasn't, ha wasn't having it today. It was hot as out there. I couldn't stay all day, so I stayed for like eight hours, and I had to call it quits. It got too hot out there. Even though I had water, but that wasn't working. I'm a fall and winter fisherman. I don't fish uh, summer that well, so whenever another good day, you know, promising day comes, I'm gonna try to hit it up. So hope y'all enjoyed what I provided, and I'll talk to y'all on the next trip. All right, later.